Hi there, it's Jennifer. Now I'm always looking for ways to make my cards a little unique and different, something different than what you can buy at the store. And I thought today's example was a good one of that. So what this is, is a card with little mini envelopes on the front that unfold and reveal a message inside. So I've put in here six different reasons I'm proud of my kids. So I can give this to them and it's just something fun and unique and I really think it'll make them feel good. And you could do this for just about anyone. Now I am using a die today to create these little mini messages. And this die is from Waffle Flower. However, I will talk about a way you can create your own a little bit later on. Now this die is great because it's small, so it's inexpensive and it's very well engineered. It's very well thought out. I thought I'd go ahead and die cut one of them from white cardstock just so you can see how it goes together. Basically the die creates score lines in various places on the piece. And all you have to do is fold along those score lines and then you'll have this little mini envelope. When it folds up, it looks like an envelope, but when you open it up, you can see this long message that is revealed inside. It's a great place to write a little note. In today's video, you're going to see me adhere a few of these to the front of a card, but I also plan to have a jar next to my kid's bed where I can throw a few of these in every day and just have a little collection of messages for them. Now after I've folded along all the score lines, I do like to use my bone folder to crease those really well so they fold up nicely. Now this die also comes with a bunch of tiny little tabs that you can insert into the little slit in the front and this helps to keep it closed. And there are a few different little dies included that you can use for this. However, I didn't use these dies today but I did wanna show you that that is included. And here's a look at the different dies for those little inserts that you can use to keep the little envelope closed. There's also a mini, mini stamp set. This is the cutest little stamp set, another great price point here. And these two envelope stamps are perfect for stamping right onto the front of the envelope if you want to. And I plan to use that Happy Mail stamp to decorate my envelope a little bit later in this video. Okay, so now since I've showed you that die and how it works, I just want to talk about the two cards I made. On one of them, I used pattern paper. These are just scraps from some six by six pattern papers from a few different companies. Now the nice thing about using pattern papers for this die and this technique is that it's thinner than most card stocks. So they fold up very nicely and then they end up being quite flat. And also you do have the white on the other side in most cases that you can write your message on. I have to say, I really think that this technique of making these little fold up messages is a great way to use up a bunch of pattern paper scraps that you may have collected over time like I have. Okay, so I did show you earlier that the die comes with a little closure. However, I wanted to show you two other ways that you can close each of the little envelopes to put on your cards. For the example on the right, I decided to use some string. So I've written my messages on here and I've folded it up and I'm just taking a piece of tape, any kind of tape would work because it will not show. And I'm taping a piece of jute or twine to the back of it. And I'm gonna hold it close and tie this into a tiny little bow. Now you could use any string for this. I wouldn't use ribbon because I think it might be a little bit too bulky, but baker's twine would work, jute would work, or any kind of string. When I'm tying a bow this small, I just go ahead and I create a bigger bow and then I pull the ends to kind of make it smaller and I keep kind of tightening it as I go and you can end up with a nice tiny little bow here. For these examples, I'm adhering six little mini messages on the front of the card. You could just do three instead if you want to or you could create like a little mini bag full of them as something a little bit different. So once I have the string tied around all of my little envelopes, I can go ahead and stamp a greeting. I think it's easier to stamp your greeting that you want underneath before adhering down all the envelopes. So you can move them out of the way and also kind of plan your placement. So I'm stamping the greeting, you're wonderful. This is from a waffle flower stamp set. Any kind of fun, encouraging greeting would be great for this. To adhere the little mini messages, you could use pencil lines to kind of help you space them out, but I'm just eyeballing it. Now to make sure that they stay put on my card, I'm using two pieces of really strong double-sided tape on the back because I really want to be sure that they stay put. So that way I'm covering basically the entire back of it with a strong adhesive and it'll stay put even when the person unties the little bow. I found it best to adhere the bottom two messages right above the greeting and then adhere the above others above that with about the same spacing. I wanted to show you one more example, the example on the left. Now for these little mini messages, I use scraps of cardstock, so this is thicker. So even though I think that pattern paper folds up a little bit nicer because it's thinner, you can use cardstock by all means. I think this is a hundred pound cardstock. 
Since these cardstocks are solid, I thought it'd be good to put a little bit of ink along the edges just to give some definition so that when it's all folded up that you could see the lines that make this look like a little envelope. So I'm just very lightly rubbing some ink of the same color on the edges. This is Distress Ink and an ink blending tool, but you could use any inking tool and any ink to add a little bit of definition to the edges. Now for this card, I decided not to use string to tie them closed because I didn't want that added bulk. So what I did is I die cut a bunch of white hearts. This happens to be a heart from memory box and it was just the right size. I put adhesive on the back top of the heart only and I'm gluing that to the top flap of our little mini message and I tuck the bottom point of the heart into the slit that that die creates. Now I'm gonna do another one here so you can see it in action again. Once again, I'm taking that white heart, putting adhesive at the top back only and I'm going to glue that onto the top flap of this little message once I have it folded up. So you'll see me just stick it right to that scalloped edge. And then I can tuck the little point on that heart into the slit that that little mini message die makes. Now here's the thing. This actually took me a lot less time than tying those little bows. And then I don't have the bulk either. I did want to show you, if you look at that blue envelope towards the top of the screen there, I used a gold cording around that, and I thought that looked pretty too, but I decided not to stick with it, but I just wanted to show you another example. Here's what it looks like when you glue a bunch of these to the front of the card. I haven't written my messages in here quite yet, but I think it's a great way to create something very simple. Now, I wanted to mention, if you don't have this die, there are a few other things you can do to get the same effect. One thing you can do is buy a bunch of teeny tiny envelopes and put your own message messages inside. I've seen little miniature envelopes on the market for a long time, so you might have some in your stash. Another thing that I think you could do that would be very easy is to cut thin strips, maybe an inch wide and about five inches long, and accordion fold them closed, and then just tie a string around that. And you can write your messages on those and adhere that to the front of a card. So it wouldn't look like an envelope, but it would accordion open so you can see the message inside. However, I think this die is a great one for creating fun little things like this, and it's very inexpensive. And by the way, I showed you that stamp set earlier. It's a tiny little stamp set. Uh, it has this greeting Happy Mail, and I thought that was a perfect thing to stamp on the back of the envelopes so that it matches the cards perfectly. So there you have a way to create a bunch of little mini messages to put on the front of your card, something fun and unexpected for the recipient. Now, if you're interested in the products that I talk about here, they're linked below my YouTube description, or you can head over to my blog at jennifermcguireinc.com. Before we go, I wanted to show you a few more things that you might find helpful. So up on the top left, you can click to head over to my blog for more information. On the bottom left, you can subscribe so you can see more of my videos if you're interested. And then the three images in the middle will take you over to videos that I think might be helpful to you based on the video that I shared with you today. And by the way, I have links for all these things below in the YouTube description. Thanks for watching, and I hope you'll return again soon. Have a great day.